Francisco Pizarro. Francisco Pizarro's discoveries have affected the human race in many ways. His explorations to Peru and destroying the Incan Empire for all eternity have caused his legacy to shadow behind him even after his death many years ago. Little is known of Pizarro's early life. He is thought to have been born in the early 1470s in Trujillo, Crown of Castile. He married Inez Juárez Yupanqui. He also had one child, a girl, by the name of Francisca Pizarro Yupanqui. His first exploration was an attempt to reach Peru, which he had heard about from fellow explorers. He set out on September the 13th, 1524, with around 80 men and 40 horses. However, this trip ended up being a failure. With lack of food, native hostels and bad weather, the crew only reached Colombia before turning around and returning home again. Two years after his failed first attempt, in 1526, Pizarro tried to reach Peru again. This time he had two ships, many horses and 160 men. He did reach Peru. After some exploring, the crew went back to Spain and appealed directly to King Charles I and asked for permission to take over the country. Not only did he gain instant permission, but he also was given considerable authority over any area taken over during the conquest. Pizarro's third voyage was to return to Peru and take it over for the Spanish. But before he could, he had to get rid of the Incan Empire, who was occupying Peru at the time. The majority of the Incas were killed by diseases, such as smallpox and measles, but others were killed by the Spanish people. A great number of upper-class Incas were ambushed and then killed during a celebratory feast that the final Incan Emperor, Atta Hualpa had thrown because he had just managed to defeat Huasca, his half-brother, in a battle to the death. He invited the Spanish, thinking they weren't a threat. The Spanish killed many of the people at the feast and held Atta Hualpa captive. He put a sizable ransom on his own head. However, he was strangled before his ransom was replied to. This marked the downfall of the Incan Empire and the beginning of the Spanish reign over Peru. After Spain took over Peru, it gained much riches and power. They were able to train armies in Peru and take over different countries in South America. This made Spain gain more power as a country. There are many things that the Spanish brought to Peru that had never been there before, such as horses, which are now highly important animals in Peru. The Spanish also brought diseases like smallpox and the measles, which were the cause of many Inca deaths in the 1520s and 30s. Thank you.